Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing some MG mod, which is made by Dr. Teaspoon. In other words, we're playing Legends of Dota. This right here has some settings we can use to emulate Legends of Dota. It's not quite as nice because the actual drafting interface is a bit more difficult to use and a bit more difficult to manage, I suppose. But ultimately, we can go ahead and create ourselves some heroes and that's what we did. Now I wanted to create myself a Medusa build where we use the mana shield with Essence Flux and Arcane Orb to just create infinite mana and then have just non-stop protection from the mana shield. That kind of nonsense. You know, Medusa is all very interesting now with her new ability and I thought this would be some fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get right into the video. Okay, we got ourselves Medusa here. Just, you know, good old classic Medusa of 120 health. <laughs> Get a magic wand, get myself some dangos, and then make my way into a lane. Although, do you even buy... Ta wait a second, wait a second. You buy clarities, right? You buy clarities? I'm guessing you buy clarities. <laughs> right, Medusa doesn't really need tangos. I guess mangos, maybe, yeah. I'm not sure. Ah, it doesn't matter that much. You got some multipliers here anyway, right? But here's our plan. We're gonna be tanky Medusa. Now, I didn't want to cheat. So I didn't want to just give her HP. I wanted to lean fully into the mana shield. But I wanted to make sure we have mana. So we have Essence Aura and Arcane Orb. Pretty much infinite mana as long as we're attacking. And then we have Flak Cannon with Side Gunner, which means we're always attacking. And then on top of that, we have Mystic Snake and Cold Blooded, which will uh, provide us with uh, more mana, stealing mana recovery when we have spells cast upon us. In other words, it'll just be very difficult to deal with us, right? We'll just be constantly, constantly restoring mana. And I'm pretty optimistic that we'll do okay there. Now, uh, it seems to me like there is a Mana Breaker. Okay, cool. Side gun on Mana Break. It's fine. I'm not actually that worried about it. I think we can just... We can just survive that. We can just restore more mana than they can possibly deal on damage. You right here, you've got Corrosive Weaponry, Time Lock, Gunsling. That's actually an interesting idea. The Corrosive Weaponry to reduce status resistance and then stun with Time Lock. <laughs> it's okay. Doesn't matter how much you stun us. Because we will still always have access to attacks. Because of Sight Gunner, because Sight Gunner is amazing. Now, Sight Gunner is genuinely amazing. It's an incredible ability, super useful. Alright. The Spectre is incredibly tanky. That's gonna be fine. We'll be, we'll be okay. And Sand King is mostly just Sand King with EMP, Kinetic Field, and Wind Run. So, a fairly low power level build there, but I respect that. Everybody else went much stronger. <laughs> I mean, me included. But we did say that. We said it's going to be a high power level build. Because we're not playing regular Legends of Dota. So it's kind of difficult to really monitor what people are doing. Um, we're just kind of using the sandbox mode to emulate Legends of Dota right now. Alright. Take this. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. Now, unfortunately, Arcane Orb is going to be just a tad little bit useless until we max it out. Which we will max out as soon as possible, but it's it's just not going to be doing anything until that point. So, for the, oh, do we have a stun? Do we have a stun? Okay. Uh, that's not enough. Yeah, that stun was a little bit late. Not blaming the Sand King. I think that mana may have been an issue there. But unfortunately, that won't be enough for us to get the kill there. Alright, do I get Mystic Snake? Do I bother? Hmm... No, I don't think I do. I think I'll get Essence Aura. Like, Mystic Snake is going to be good in the long run, but the way this lane is playing out, I think the power of my uh, Arcane Orb with Essence Flux, it's just going to outweigh what Mystic Snake can offer. So we'll just focus on that. That should be okay. Alright, take these here. Thank you very much. And... Uh, now we'll come in here. You know what's really annoying? You know what's really annoying? Okay, so for the hero history videos, I take great care that I always write in the proper tenses, right? I always talk about the past, so everything happened, this was done, 
the hero was picked. She chose this item. You know what I mean? But because of that, there's one thing that I left in the present tense, which is, well, there's actually two things that I leave in the present tense, but one of them isn't relevant here. But there's one thing that I specifically leave in the present tense, and that is at the start of the video, I say, Ayo is a ranged strength hero. Because I thought <laughs> that will surely still be true by the time my video gets released. God damn it! The one thing I thought they were gonna change! Oh man. So now I have to re record that and I hope it doesn't sound too too awkward because I the problem is of course that I'm in a new recording environment now right and even though I think our recording setup is pretty good now it's still different right it is still gonna be a little different that's just unavoidable there's nothing I can do about that so uh yeah but unfortunately uh techies and IO no longer are <sighs> intelligence or strength heroes so um yeah, well, not much I can do about that, right? Oh no! Wow, there goes my mana, holy fucking shit! Oh, you have the uh, Nyx Assassin Vendetta too! Wow, that's like pretty much a hard counterpick to my build. Mana break, in case you don't know, Vendetta now burns 50% of the target's maximum mana when you come out of Vendetta. So that's just like a very deliberate counterpick to my build. So that's unfortunate. There's not much I can do about it. We're just going to have to kind of like work our way through. I mean, admittedly, if this build can succeed even under these circumstances, then I think we've got a pretty, pretty good build there. Q burns so much mana. Well, it's anti-mage. It's Q. Of course, it's going to burn a lot of mana. But it's not really the Q that's the problem here. It's the uh, Vendetta that's going to hurt. There's not much we can do against Vendetta, unfortunately, but that's going to hurt. Yeah, honestly, this is... Can I complain a little bit? Just just a little bit. And I, please don't understand this wrong. I'm not really mad at anyone. I'm not really upset at anyone. But one of the problems that I have with recording videos like this, or even just recording stuff like 1x6, right, is if I want to do a specific build, and I tell people ahead of time, then they counterpick me. And they don't necessarily do it deliberately. They just kind of like subconsciously now know one build their opponents uh, their opponents are gonna have so they kind of like subconsciously just like okay well I, I guess I know how to like I'll just incorporate some mana burn in here or whatnot or they very deliberately do it and that's always really difficult to do uh, like to deal with because like well, what am I to do there right like I mean I can't tell people no you're not allowed to counter pick me because like you know where do we draw the line there but at the same time it's just a tad a little bit difficult for me because I'm like god damn it <laughs> That sniper is going to be a problem. <laughs> but okay. That's just how it goes. Your middle tower is under attack. That's just how it goes. We're going to go ahead and see if we can uh, make this work anyway. You've got the, the drums thing? Drums of slum? Why do you have six abilities? That's weird. What's going on with that? Alright, okay. Well, it seems there's some issues there. Yeah, but there's always somebody, always somebody that, that picks something that will just do absolutely exceptionally well against whatever I said I was gonna gonna pick. And now you might say, well, why don't you just like keep it a secret? Well, first of all, it's kind of boring. I like talking. <laughs> but secondly, uh, because like with something like 1x6, for example, if I say I want to play Ogre Magi, I need to tell people this. Because if I don't tell them that, they might just pick Ogre Magi. And then I can't play Ogre Magi anymore. Or they might ban Ogre Magi. And then I can't play Ogre Magi anymore. And I need to just kind of like, if I want to record a specific build, if I want to record a specific hero, I need to tell people that that's what I'm doing. Because otherwise they might do things unintentionally that prevent me from doing so. And then we have a bit of a problem again. So you kind of see, right? It's just, it's just difficult. It's one of those situations where there isn't really a way to win, unfortunately. Then you say you want to play Susan the Bansus. Yeah, well, that's a separate issue. Yeah, that happened earlier. All right. Okay, come on. Give me some uh, mana restoration. Thank you. Yeah, we do need to level this stuff up a bunch. Because as it stands, we're just uh, 
Still a little bit weak. I mean, mostly what I need, desperately, is level 7 and this Agonims. But as soon as we get there, things should be much, much better. We should be able to farm mostly, which is something I'm looking forward to. Right now, our farming speed is kind of miserable. But the top lane has started to become um, difficult. Let's just put it that way. Hello! Did you know that I have a Twitter called Baumi and Cats? where I post cat pictures and other stuff. Also, please leave a rating on the video. There's a link in the description to the Twitter, by the way. Anyway, goodbye. But luckily, as long as we're in the jungle here, we are doing fine in terms of taking down these creeps. So that's good. And we do have Flak Cannon, which is actually a fairly good farming tool. So that's like a benefit of having the ability, I suppose. All right, take you guys down. Thank you very much. Oh, tier 1 token. What can we get? Uh, I guess the Faded Brooch. That's quite a lot of HP for us, actually. So, should be good. I, you know what? I'm actually pretty happy about the Faded Brooch, I think. Finally, okay. That changes everything, right? Just having Arcane Orb ready all the time makes it such a powerful ability. But before that point... Not really, not really as good, unfortunately. Okay. Take these guys, thank you. Now I need to max this out because I need to restore more mana. Like, definitely. I also need to max out these. Both of these give me bonus mana, which is good. This one gives me a little bit more, though. Alright. Once I have Aghanim Scepter, my farming speed will also just skyrocket because it just makes it so much more efficient since we are always getting extra attacks out and with our current attack speed i mean the extra attack is pretty much at our normal attack rate so it's nice okay agon of scepter coming in man this new jungle really uh limits your vision a lot doesn't it like that's definitely something they did they limited how much you can see quite aggressively all right there it is and you can see this does trigger all of our stuff because it is just a normal attack. Uh, so we are able to, you know, restore mana with these hits. Right? Oh! Yes, okay. <laughs> I just got a little unlucky. Alright, good, 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 good. I was worried for a moment that it maybe doesn't work. But uh, it really should work and it does. So that's good. All right, more Essence Aura. These creeps have been taken. I'm just going to continue focusing on farming for a little bit. We are Medusa. As such, money is crucially important. And also levels, of course. Good, good, good. Also need to make sure Essence Aura is maxed out. We have Boots now. Uh, what do we get next? I'm kind of thinking we just get a Dragon Lord. Do we get Dragon Lord? Is Dragon Lord even good for us? Do we even care about Dragonlance, to be honest? Maybe I just get a Scotty. Just maximize my survivability here. Because Scotty will, Scotty will first of all offer a bunch of damage, which will be nice. But then it will also give us uh, another defensive option just by slowing things. And then finally, it gives us a huge amount of just stats, which are crucial for the hero. Bloodstone. Well, Spell I Steal isn't that good, right? Bloodstone doesn't really help. Uh, we could use Bloodstone to restore mana, but I really feel like if we have enough of a mana pool, as long as it's just big enough, that should be fine anyway. Okay. Ooh, okay. We got, we got some attacks in. Run, 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 run. Oh, crap. Yeah. It's mostly that I'm not strong enough yet. I think I'll actually get TP boots. Just so I can farm a bit more aggressively. I need to, like, move around the map a bit more. I mean, there's creeps everywhere now, so we should use that. Yeah, the Beastmaster, that's a lot of damage. But it's just a lot of damage right now. Like, that, it's fine. It's fine. Long term, long term. Gotta have a little bit of faith. But we'll get there. Coming over here, thank you very much. 
I mean, there's also the level 25 talent, of course. That's amazing. I think I will get the TP boots first. Just so I have a better way of, uh, you know, moving around the map. Getting some more farm that way. Eternal Shard Dusa is such bullshit. Eternal Shard Dusa doesn't even work. Because the Eternal Shard needs to have taken actual damage. It doesn't work based off damage blocked. And so... Yeah, Eternal Shard Dusa doesn't really do anything. Because she doesn't actually recover mana with the Eternal Shard. Alright. Take you here. Some more creeps. We have boots, so we can uh, move between lanes a bit more aggressively. And also, it helps us farm the jungle. And now we really just need to get some stats. Right? We need to increase the mana pool. Just so that we actually can benefit from our abilities properly. Because unless we have a mana pool big enough to be worth recovering, it's not gonna matter whether or not we have, you know, good mana recovery. <clears throat> so that's where the Scotty's gonna come in. <laughs> that'll, that'll definitely help. Good, 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 good. Our opponents are very far ahead, and I'm well aware of that, but ultimately there's not that much I can do about it. We just need to focus on farming. We just need to make sure that we kind of catch up in some capacity. There we go. Take these guys. And TP boots are nice. Actually, like, we watched uh, a game earlier. Which was the... Oh, it's a Team Liquid versus uh, Gaming Gladiators. And it was a Necrophos that wasn't having the best time in the early game. And then uh, just got, got himself some early TP boots, started farming the map, because the map is so, so wide open now. And it actually worked out really nicely. He managed to recover pretty well. Alright, good. Very nice, very nice. This is gonna be a huge boost in power. Just a single orb like that will already matter. Ooh, there's uh, I'm a little worried about the Invoker. No, Invoker's leaving? Good, 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 good. I mean, at this point, you gotta start respecting me a little bit. We've got the mana shield maxed out now. That gives me a lot of mana. Essence Aura gives me a lot of mana. So I just have, what is this? 750 bonus mana from those two abilities alone. The problem a little bit with Arcane Orb is that I do need to trigger it. <laughs> if I don't get these triggers, we are in trouble. Because then I just burn through my own health pool like it's nothing. And that would be a problem. Alright, there's the Beastmaster. Oh, hello. I cannot see you. Okay, we're, we're fine. I need to just attack. Good, good, good. We're hanging in. Too many units. Too many stuns, mostly. Yeah. What is this? Blur with enough attack range that it doesn't break. And then using the uh, lightning hands from Zeus with Arc Lightning. The problem right now is that our hero doesn't have enough power. If I had more power, if I had more attack speed, I might be able to actually fight. But that's just a matter of needing more items. This is basically just being Medusa. Uh, that's just a part of the Medusa life cycle, I suppose. Alright, we'll level up the Mystic Snake for what it's worth. I think I'll actually get Ring of Arcula. Like, maybe the attack range is better. The Growth Bow is obviously an excellent item, but... God, do I want some stats right now. Okay, here's an Ultimate Orb. Good. Hello there. Get by a little snake. Thank you. Thanks for the mana donation. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Phantom Assassin just hanging out over there. Now a tier two token. That's for somebody else. I'm not gonna get any use out of it. 
So it seems I don't even need the Aghanim's shard. So that's gonna make things just ever so slightly more convenient. Because I was worried I would have to spend some money on that too. And I'm currently uh, trying to invest all of our resources into just power. And Aghanim's shard is more of a defensive item. So if we can skip that because we already have it, great. Fantastic. Alright, there's our Scotty. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna get more of the Mystic Snake. Mystic Snake may be the worst ability in my kit, to be honest. Mostly because it just is a little bit of extra mana. Which I'm not sure if that's that important, but we'll see. Hello there, Sniper. Okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. Nice. <laughs> Close. But we're fine. Alright, I can't attack this dude. That's the problem. I, I can't see him. I don't know where he is. Alright, got some snakes coming. I, I God, that invoker. Alright. I'm thinking we get a dragon lance. Dragon Lance and Hurricane Pike. I need to have a way to catch up to that dude. I need to be less static. Oh, hello. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yes, mana. Mana. Oh, very good. Very good. Sick. Oh, we're hanging in there. Look at that. That's two kills for the team. And they are struggling to kill us. I mean, the scary one, the really scary one, is the Beastmaster. We'll see if we can deal with him, but... Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about the rest of them. <laughs> oh, crap. There's the Sniper. Sniper has mana burn, but we'll be okay. Like... Yeah. I mean, it's scary. I'm not trying to say it's not scary. For sure, that dude is terrifying. But we got him. We can deal with him. Do I need healing? Like actual healing? Because my main HP bar is maybe relevant? Is it? Hmm. Okay, there's a Spectre now. So Spectre's damage return, lots of it. Hmm, interesting. I think I just win. No, you can't spell I steal this. Okay, we're chilling. Oh, but the Spectre ran away. <laughs> come here, come back! Oh, uh, she's gone. There's no way we're catching her. But I still feel pretty good about it. Yeah, no Spectre can't just force her way through that. There's a Tormentor. Which we can take down, no problem. Nice! Just need more attack speed. Yeah? Well, then I'm thinking a Butterfly. Right? Or MKB? Wasn't there some evasion? We gotta make sure we connect with our attacks. Do we recover mana from Arcane Orb if we miss? I think we do, actually. But there's definitely Blur. So let's get MKB. That's going to be some attack speed. That's going to be some damage. But honestly, as long as I am attacking, whew, I don't go down. Side Gunner is not quite as useful as I had hoped, but I think it does make a difference. right? just like buys me that little bit of extra time. Although... The question there is like, does Sight Gunner more often than not maybe actually lower my survivability? Oh team, no team, you wanna go away? Oh team, I'm sorry, I can t I can take this, I don't know if you can. Alright, Beastmaster? No, oh, attack, okay, okay, oh my god! He just attacks so much. Like, he had... The Beastmaster had already run away. And I just died 
to like these lingering attacks. <laughs> oh man, what do we do about this guy? I guess I get like a Heaven's Halberd or something. I, that's just the uh, Gunslinger with low attack speed, or right, low attack rate, high attack speed, right, low base attack time. And with the Faceless Void Bash, like you combine all of these things together and you just get an endless amount of attacks. So, yeah, we could have gone that path too, but I, I feel like I've done so much Gunslinger recently that I, I needed to try something a little different at least. Okay then. Now we can't change our abilities now, I want to be clear. That's not allowed, also not possible. So, uh, while well, we have done that in the past, not in this match. So we are stuck with what we've got. We need to figure out a solution here. Nice, take you guys down. You know, like the, you, arguably, my ultimate might have been more useful than the side gunner. No, side gunner was good for farming. I'm sorry, I'm just like, kind of like worried that maybe I should have taken something like slightly different. But ultimately, I think it's fine. Very good. We'll get the extra mana shield damage reduction per mana. Yeah, I'm definitely just kind of like lingering on lower mana pools a lot. There's just these like brief moments where my mana needs to recover. And that's uh, always a little bit scary. It recovers incredibly quickly, but uh, those moments still worry me. Okay, now we just need to find a target. I am kind of thinking we want to get Hex. Oh, hello, Archimon. Come here, come here, come here. Let's do this. Hello, you. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> no! You're not allowed to just TP out. Alright. Maybe I can get her. Ugh. There's a snoopy doodle doo coming in. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright. Mana burn. But that's okay. We can handle it. Oh, wait. No, that's our mana burn. Sorry. It's just, I just saw on Mocha, so I assumed it was his. But the Sanking has it, right? The Sanking has the uh, EMP. Ooh, come on. Attack him. Attack him. Attack him. Yes. I mean, if we just have some disable, he's not actually that scary. Yeah, he doesn't have much defensively. And that's all I am. I am just defense. So, we can deal with that nicely. Let's come down here. I've watched pro games. I know what to do. I'm supposed to farm until buyback is ready. Wait. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter if it's already ready. I should still farm up just in case. What do we buy next? Does the Beastmaster have MKB? I think I'm just gonna get a butterfly and force people to have an MKB. And then after the butterfly, I'm just gonna consume my Aghanim Scepter and I'll get a Hex. That seems to me like the best way to go here. Because I wanna have a little bit more attack speed and just like more power. And butterfly will do that for us. It will do that very nicely. Hello. Come here, come here. Oh, okay. Attack, 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 attack. Come on! We can do it! Come on! No! <laughs> ah! <sighs> I need Hex. We got pretty close, though. I gotta say, we got pretty close. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Stunning relies on a KB from the old... Oh, in case you're wondering, yes. I don't have the ultimate, so my um, snake, even though I have Aghanim Scepter, does not apply the stunning effect. You do need the Medusa ultimate. That's why I said earlier, maybe the Medusa ultimate would have been better. <clears throat> oh, 
Ooh, Divine Rapier. What happened there? I'm guessing somebody dropped that. I should actually, like, uh, a tier 3. we got to get some tier 3s, right? Let's see if we can find something good there. I'm not sure what exactly we would want, to be honest. But, uh, eh, we'll find something. Okay, coming in. Good, 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 good. Nothing here. Ooh. I'm impressed with this Sand King. I mean, honestly, Sand King is just playing normal Sand King from Dota 2. <laughs> More or less. But turns out normal Sand King from Dota 2 has a stun. And that's really all you need to be useful. It's not that complicated a game. Dota 2 is complicated on the surface. And then, uh, you know, it starts being not so complicated as soon as you make it past that stage. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Fuck your mana burn. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, side gunner, save me. Yes. <laughs> We're fine. It was never even a problem. So, do we get some HP? Yes. Is that ever something we need? Is that ever something we want? I mean, I do actually have a fairly significant health pool now. Nah, gotta be Hex. Gotta be Hex, right? More than anything, that's what we need. Our damage output is so fine. Totally plenty. We just need to kill things a bit more reliably. And that's not... That doesn't really have anything to do with our damage output. It's got... Oh. Maybe we'll just get a Paladin Sword. There you go. Oh, that is Spell Ice Steel. That is Life Steel. <gasps> Pretty excited, I gotta, I gotta say. So none of these do anything, right? They're, they're all useless, so I might as well get Flak Cannon. I mean, it's not like Flak Cannon is that much more useful, but... You know, at least it does something. Alright, I'm coming in. I'll try to help out. I mean, I'm a little low on HP, but who cares? I don't need no HP. Oh, crap. Hammond's Halberd. Can't believe it. These people with their counter items. Who buys Hammond's Halberd? I think we might actually need to play as a team here. We can totally win this. We just need to coordinate a little bit. You have no split shot? No, I don't have split shot. No split shot, no split shot. Again, I went for this Mystic Snake path because here was my thinking with the Mystic Snake. I wanted to have protection in case I get locked down, right? That's what the Flak Cannon is about and that's what the Mystic Snake is about. If I'm attacking, I'm invincible. But we already knew that. That has long since been obvious. If we are attacking, you can't really kill us. As long as I just get to keep hitting things, I am fine. But of course, that's where the problem begins. Our opponents are going to try to stop us from attacking. They will disable us. They will uh, disable us. They will disable us. They will mostly just disable us. That's it. Dota is... Look, Dota is a little bit less of BKB and magic missiles now, but it's still BKB and magic missiles. By the way... Can I say really quick, people always make a little bit of fun of me. It's, okay. Saying that people make fun of me for the BKB and Magic Missile thing, where I say Dota is just a bunch of BKBs and Magic Missiles, it's not entirely true. There's mostly people that poke fun of me, but that also still acknowledge, yeah, this is true. <laughs> this is, that is, I mean, like, it is silly that it is true, but it is totally the case. Oh, I was waiting too long. I had 1x6 timings in mind, my bad. But um, yeah, BKB, uh, Dota is just a bunch of BKBs and magic missiles. And that last patch, 1 billion percent proves that to me. Right? Like, I have been, I am so vindicated on that. Because they nerfed BKB. It's the first time that they have gone out of their way to really significantly nerf BKB. This new BKB is much weaker than the old BKB. Right? Way, way weaker. So, what did they also do to justify that? They nerfed 
like 90% of the stunts in the game. They nerfed the vast majority of magic missiles. Because Dota is just a bunch of BKBs and magic missiles. And if you nerf one part, you gotta nerf the other. They are connected. That's what the game is at its core. It's just a bunch of BKBs and magic missiles. Yeah. All right, coming in here. <clears throat> Hello. I'm I'm worried that the um, that my team was gonna die. But I think that's just a sacrifice that I'm gonna have to make. <laughs> this Spectre is so hard countered by me. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> I feel a little bad for the Spectre, but also not really. Oh, hello. Okay. Sure, the disarm, I guess. No, I'm still disarmed. Alright, we got some attacks out. Is that enough? Ooh, must have been close. I do hit really, really hard. Oh my god, they, how many health halberds do you guys have? Alright, give me your divines. And by me, I mean my team. I don't need them. I don't really want them. Oh, come on! This dude has a heaven's halberd too. Heaven's halberd is overpowered. Just a side note. And that's not necessarily to say that it is an item that will get nerfed. But I've been watching competitive Dota. Because like that's how I've been like trying to get my mind around this new patch. Right? Like every day we've just been starting by watching some competitive matches from the previous day. And what I've noticed is that Heaven's Halberd against ranged heroes, ranged carries, is just overpowered as hell. It just locks them down so much, and there's nothing you can do, right? It's five seconds, five seconds of non-attacking that can't be perched in any way. The fuck do you do against that? Like, genuinely, Heaven's Halberd against ranged heroes is overpowered. But there's lots of things in Dota that are overpowered, right? There's lots of things that are overpowered. So I wonder if that's like one of those where they're just like, yep, this is just going to be overpowered or if they're planning on nerfing it. But like genuinely kind of wild that that is allowed to just exist the way it does. Like it's crazy strong. Okay, do we like the Hurricane Pike? I'm not sure I do. I'm not sure this does anything. Maybe it is Bloodstone time, but like... Maybe this Lincoln's time? Huh. Again, I can't really do anything about the Hammond's Halberd. I could, like, maybe get a... Like, a Yule's upgrade. And with the Yule's upgrade, I can protect myself for a little bit. Alright, just attack here. Cool, that's one. Uh, 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 nope. Disarmed again. And I didn't have vision, so I couldn't hex him. Alright, come on, dear. Ogre Magi, what do you have? Double edge, giga strength. <laughs> oh, you actually have mana shield, too. Oh, that's kind of funny. I get what you're going for. Mana shield, but with Ogre Magi, so you turn all of your HP, your strength into mana. <clears throat> Okay, so we get rid of Hurricane Pike. I think so. And then I probably just get the Wind Waker. Like, it does still use a lot of mana, but it also gives a bunch. And I can use that to just buy myself some time. Which I otherwise wouldn't have. I mean, what else could I get? E-Blade? Apply that to myself to protect myself, but then I'm just kind of screwed as well. I can't attack anyway. Like, it's like one of those things where, like, sure... It would protect me, but also it's just a Heaven's Halberd that I apply to myself in a way. <laughs> so I don't know, that feels kind of weird. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could actually replace my boots with the Wind Waker. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Because I don't necessarily want to give up Hurricane Pike. It is incredibly good. Who 
knows? Who knows? Maybe we can get that tier 4 thing. That lets me... That lets me uh, protect myself with like a little bit of status resistance. But like that doesn't even help against her, uh, Halberd, does it? Does, does status resistance help against Halberd? No, actually not true, but I don't think it does. I think Halberd is just like weirdly unaffected by anything. All right, okay, thanks, team. Why did you just get a Bloodstone? All right. I want to get a tier four. All right, not a problem. There's Akimo, but the problem is that, like, I can kill Akimo and then... Like, now I'm kind of not in a good spot. Alright, I need to attack something. Literally anything, just give me mana. There we go. That's better. And we got our tier 4. Um, Stormcrafter... Oh, Trickster Cloak. Oh, it doesn't use mana. Okay. Cool. I like it. That'll be good. That'll be good. And we combine that with a Wind Waker. No more boots. Who needs boots anyway? All right. Wind Waker gives what? 30 movement speed. Plenty. Get a Lincoln's. Yeah, I could get Lincoln's, but they have multiple halberds. They also have like long range stuff. For example, the... Uh, Invoker has Arc Lightning, so I think the Lincolns is just kind of unlikely to actually be that effective, right? Alright, take these guys down, very good. Screw in over here. Time to push. Alright. I mean, they are up there. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty spooky. That's fine. I don't mind a uh, halberd if I'm not being attacked. The problem is when the Beastmaster then jumps me. Oh, hey, what? I used it. Huh. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is so brutal. Like, the corrosive weaponry is a really interesting addition there. Because it just makes it so you can't run away. And then also, like, 11 stacks of this is 66% status resistance reduction. So time lock all of the sudden. Brutal. Oh no, they're coming. Well, I don't have buyback. Might be... Might be finally time they uh, take over the game. I mean, they have a lot of strong heroes. Also, this dude totally has six abilities, and that's cheating. <laughs> Sorry, seven abilities. Because, like, he's got these drums, right? For some reason. I wonder what's up with that. Because well, we, we, did, we did say only six abilities, not, not seven. Didn't level his Q. Uh -huh. Okay. So I guess all, all the stuff I was saying about how how that's an interesting addition uh, is just uh, complete nonsense and doesn't matter. Okay. Maybe I should just like fully lean into survivability and like spell casting. You know, it's just like. Hard commit into that. No more butterfly. No more hurricane pike. Just all Bloodstone and Lincolns. Tank up. And survive. I'm not sure if it's gonna help against the perma stun, of course, which is the main issue. But 
you know, we'll see. All right, take these guys down. Oh no. Well, Sand King is there. He's doing quite a lot. He's pretty strong. Turns out just regular Sand King from Dota 2 is a good hero. <laughs> Alright. Can't attack. But we okay, we okay, we okay. And... Oh, I ran out of mana. Yeah. The Vendetta hit. I guess that's a lesson learned, right? That's something to take away from this. Is that Nyx Assassin is absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating to any sort of Medusa. Because that 50% free mana burn. And it's not even current mana. It's maximum mana. <sighs> Brutal. All right, we don't have we don't have barracks anymore. I'm not sure how that how much that matters to be honest, but yeah. Hmm. All right, we'll get Bloodstone. Get rid of the Hurricane Pike. Can we get rid of Wind Waker? I haven't been able to use the Wind Waker effectively at all. Not gotten any value out of that. The nice thing about the Bloodstone is that it doesn't have a mana cost, so I can use it even if I'm getting fucked up. Even if we're having a hard time, I, sh I can still use the Bloodstone. Oh. Nah, I didn't have my TP boots equipped. Alright, let's go ahead and just walk over there. Who needs items anyway? Who needs movement speed anyway? I've got a smooth 275. That's plenty. <laughs> Alright team, let's just, you know, try to group up after Ogre Magi is back alive and see if we can actually do this. I mean, we're hanging in here. We're in this. We're in this together, friends. And honestly, pretty impressed that we still are. They were destroying us early on. Like, that was brutal. Alright. Grab these here. And we're working our way down. Oh, hello. Nice. <laughs> Was that the cheese shield? That looked like the cheese shield to me. Because I don't know what other shield the sniper would have. Oh, no. Like a rune? Okay. Sand King just kind of getting kills. Weirdly. Nice. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Well, I guess you guys defend. I'm going to slowly walk into the mid. <laughs> I'm going to slowly make my way there. Grab a region. There's a... Uh... Spectre here, okay. I mean, that's manageable. Spectre isn't exactly scary. Oh. She got a silence. Well, I mean, that's actually fine. I'm not that fussed about a silence, to be honest. Oh, Bloodstone! No. Oh, dear. You're just always stunned. You're always stunned. <clears throat> the really brutal part about the Faceless Void Bash, in case you don't know what's going on with that, because like the Beastmaster stuns us even if he isn't near us, right? It's because for some reason Faceless Void Bash can trigger even if you're not actually near him. I don't know. It just can't, it just can't keep triggering. Yeah, okay, they got us, they got us, they got us. At the end of the day, it seems the team maybe had some better builds. <laughs> Good job getting the cheese block. 
Nicely done. Nicely done. Well, I still had some fun with it. We made ourselves a tanky Medusa. And to be honest, the mana burn wasn't even a problem. We actually did fine against the mana burn builds. The perma bashing build was the problem, but there's not much we can do about that, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.